Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to do a cartridge comparison. The old classic 300 Winchester Magnum. And I'm going to compare it to see if it can compete with Hornady's brand new cartridge, the 7mm PRC. So, we're going to see, is the 300 Win Mag a better hunting cartridge? Or is the 7mm PRC? Is the 300 Win Mag a better long distance cartridge? Let's find out. So let's just start with the new guy. Wow, Hornady has already put out reloading data for the 7mm PRC. Well done, Hornady. Looking at you, Browning and Winchester. Still no 6.8 Western load data. So let's just take a look at the case. Uh, it's the same case as the 300 PRC and 6.5 PRC. Just the cartridge length is only 2.280 inches. So like halfway in between 6.5 PRC and 300 PRC. Let's just look at the performance. This is fun. Um, I saw this earlier today and found this to be very fascinating, and I'll show you why. Okay, so 139-ish, 140 grain bullets. Pretty good velocity, 3,350 feet per second. That's moving. Let's move up to the 150 grains. 3,150 feet per second. And then the 160s, 3,150, so no change. That's interesting. No CX bullet in here. And as I thought previously in my other video, I mentioned that I thought the 160 grain CX bullet that Hornady is offering is going a little slow. And this load data is kind of proving my point that you could probably get at least 100 feet per second more than what you could with their factory ammo. Now the bullet that I'm really shocked by, the velocities really. So the 175 grain and Hornady says your max velocity is only 3000 feet per second. That's apparently the same velocity that they're offering their precision hunter ammo in, which is odd. Usually precision hunter ammo is not really like the super performance ammo. So, um, 3,000 feet per second, that's it's not a huge difference between the REM mag. I know I'm talking about the 300 wind mag today, but I don't know. There's not a huge difference between these two guys, so that's interesting. Then the 180 grain ELD match, 2950, 190 grain, 2900. Still really good performance. These bullets have insane uh, BCs and very good potential as a long distance cartridge all right let's look at the 300 wind mag real fast i've shown load data for the wind mag a lot so we're just going to make it really fast it's a great cartridge for a reason we're going to switch and go up to a higher bc bullet to try to compete with the seven millimeter prc we're going to use a 210 grain acubal long range and nozzler says you can get almost up to 2,900 feet per second, max really of 2,887, and that's a really compressed load. So I think you could get 2,850. I know my dad gets 2,850 with a uh, 210 grain burger. So I, I definitely think 2,850 is very possible. Okay, it's time to look at the ballistics. Seven millimeter PRC with a 175 grain ELDX with a very high BC of 0.689, and a hand-loaded velocity of 3,000 feet per second gives you basically 3,500 foot-pounds at the muzzle. It's a pretty powerful cartridge. At 400 yards, the bullet is almost 2,500 feet per second, and the energy, 2,371 foot-pounds. Let's remember that. We're going to compare it to the 300 Win Mag at 400, and 22.78 inches of drop. Now, this is a very much a long distance target cartridge as well. So let's just take this out to 800 yards. And I've done this before where it's almost going 2000 feet per second and your energy is still 1500 foot pounds at 800 yards. Very impressive. I would not advise anyone to shoot game at that distance, but still the potential of this cartridge is very impressive. Only 136.7 inches of drop. So, can the 300 Win Mag compete with this? Let's find out. Okay, 300 Winchester Mag with 
a 210 grain Acubon long range and a very good BC of 0.661, almost as good as the 175 ELDX. And, whoops. And a muzzle velocity of 2,850 feet per second. You're going to have uh, close to 400 more foot pounds of energy than the 7 millimeter PRC at the muzzle. Now, time for the moment of truth. It's going a little bit slower than the PRC at 2,316 feet per second. However, it does have more energy, 2,500 foot-pounds. Drop, it is a heavier bullet going a little bit slower, so it's about a 4-inch is of more drop. But let's take this out to 800. This is very much a long-distance cartridge, and it's going, well, about 150 feet per second slower, but about the exact same energy. Pretty awesome. So even out to 800 yards, the 300 Win Mag holds its own against the 7 PRC. And well, the drop is a bit more, so 156 inches of drop. Overall though, the 300 Win Mag, still wonderful cartridge and hunting distances, it beats the 7 millimeter PRC. Now, before all the 300 Win Mag fans start fist bumping each other, uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room with the 300 Winchester Magnum. The only way that the 300 Winchester Magnum beats a 7mm PRC, even at hunting distances, is if you hand load it at really fast velocities. So, as you know, the factory ammo for the 300 Winchester Mag is. A bit anemic um, actually I'd say it's a bit disappointing so there's no way with factory ammo that this 300 Win Mag can even match or outperform the 7 millimeter PRC it's only with hand loads let's also talk about the other thing uh, as a long distance cartridge I didn't really compare the really high BC match bullets with the 7 millimeter PRC uh, well, the 7mm PRC just beats the 300 Win Mag at long distance shooting. But that doesn't mean the 300 Win Mag's bad. It is definitely a very good long distance cartridge. But yeah, the 7mm PRC is better at long distance target shooting. Now, do I think you should be trading in your 300 Win Mag to get a 7mm PRC? Um, I don't think you're really missing much unless you're really into long distance target shooting. Then you could see the advantage. But otherwise, uh, the 300 Win Mag, you know, it's the most popular 30 caliber Magnum for a reason. It's really good. And the 7mm PRC seems to be a very good cartridge. It's, uh, well, I think it will take the market by storm.